Jesus said, for where your treasure is, there your heart will be also. Matthew's Gospel, chapter 6, verse 21. It says, for where your treasure is, there your heart will be also. It's uh, The saying has been said in the context of treasures in heaven. Jesus encouraged people to store up their treasures in heaven. Verse 19, 19 talks about in a negative context, do not store up your, for yourself treasures on earth where moths and vermin destroy and where thieves break in and steal. But in a positive sense, you know, money is not bad. Wealth is not bad. But it all depends on how we use that wealth. You know, wealth is good, but how do we use it matters a lot. God is not against the wealthy people. There are some sayings in the Bible, even Jesus himself said, it is very easy um, for a camel to enter through the needle of an eye, but it is difficult for a rich man to enter into the kingdom of God. That does mean that rich people will not enter into the kingdom of God. And the uh, Bible talks about a lot of rich people. Abraham was the richest person during that time. Job was uh, the richest person. The uh, no, Bible talks about the rich. So the point here in the Bible very clearly says, problem is not with the money, but the problem is our inclination towards money and our attitudes money. Our attitudes to the possessions. We can have the luxurious life. There is no problem. In it. But where is my mind? That's important. Jesus encourages, let your mind should be on the kingdom of God and kingdom values. So he encourages and calls people to invest in that kingdom business. Today investment is now very much appreciated, uh, encouraged, and everybody wants to invest. That's good. We need to be secure for our future. But here Jesus calls for an investment of the kingdom of God. For where your treasure is, there your heart will be also. Now if my treasure is in the kingdom business, then my heart will be there. If I am giving a hundred dollars for a ministry, my heart will be always with that ministry. And I'm curious to know what's happening there. And I start praying for that ministry and uh, I want to know what's happening in the uh, field and uh, I will have that uh, relationship with that missionary or a pastor or that individual and uh, I start praying for him or her and I start um, inquiring what's happening and you know, my heart will be always with the kingdom of God. So my friends I encourage you earn as much as you can save as much as you can save and at the same time, give as much as you can for the work of the Lord because that lasts forever and it continues into the kingdom of God in the eternity. What you contribute today for God's mission, it will reflect in your eternity. Jesus encourages you to come and participate with him in that kingdom business. You know, so there is an amazing blessing when you invest for the kingdom of God, where, where the, uh, uh, let me read the text again here. Jesus clearly said, so for where your treasure is, there your heart will be also. Where is your treasure? Where is your treasure? Pull it out and invest for the kingdom of God. May God bless you and uh, have a blessed day. This is today, before I start my day, as I'm doing my quiet time, the Lord talked to me this. And I thought, okay, I need to inform to my friends, encourage my friends, my friends, when you invest for God's kingdom, um, you will reap uh, four times, five times, six times. Even Jesus clearly said it will multiply. That is fold, 60 fold and 100 fold. If you invest for God's kingdom, $100 today, you know, God will... Um, uh, continue to encourage you and he continue to uh, bring that God's heavenly uh, spiritual blessings in you. So I'm not saying here 
uh, when you give and you, the Lord will give you back. Of course, sometimes, you know, when we give, there is, we should not have that intention. If I am giving $100, I will get back a million dollars. No, not at all. You are in a kingdom business with a serious business and you are looking into God and God will look into your um, contribution and he will bless you. Wherever your, where the, your treasure is, there your heart also will be. So your treasure should be in the kingdom business and uh, you need to pray for God's mission and engage in the mission of God and one day God will come on his side. My friends, let me encourage you. Have a blessed day and think about God, God's kingdom and God's mission. Be busy with the consciousness of God. The more you are busy with the consciousness of God and God's mission and uh, you will receive relaxation in your life and you will enjoy. And have a blessed day. God bless you. Alex, meet again.